Hi, friends. I'm glad to be able to connect with you. Things are starting to gear up again, with some people going back to school. Some of us haven't seen our friends face-to-face, or mask-to-mask, for a long time. It'll be great to meet up with our old friends, and also to make some new ones. I bet you'll get lots of cell numbers or email addresses so you can video chat, call, or text outside of school. You may find yourself in a group chat, which can be a lot of fun, especially when you look at your device and see 100 new messages. But before you dive right in, let's keep a few things in mind. Hey, Mom. Hey, Sarah. I'm glad that school started again and everything. I made some new friends. I gave them my number, and they added me to a giant group text. Oh, that sounds like it could be fun. Um, it started out that way, but some people are being kind of rude. Did anyone set up boundaries of what's okay and not okay in the text thread? No. What do you mean, boundaries? Well, one basic boundary is to agree to use the appropriate language. Keep in mind that any text you write can be seen by someone's mom or dad or guardian. I wouldn't use any language that wouldn't be okay to use when you are at a friend's house. Right. Another boundary is to be aware of the impact of your words. If you make a joke in person, the person can see your face and know it's a joke. In texts, it's much harder to tell. And a mean joke with a happy face emoji is still a mean joke. Mom, we don't really use emojis like that anymore. That's just for old people. Well, see, if you said that in a text, I wouldn't know you were kidding. But it's a good idea not to say anything in a text that you wouldn't say to someone face to face. It's easier to say mean things when you don't see the hurt and sadness in someone's eyes. Mean words can really stick with someone for a long time. Maybe you could be the person to sprinkle in some compliments instead. Ha! Sprinkles. Now I just want ice cream. This all does make sense, even the sprinkle. Any other things that we need to include in boundaries? Well, if someone can't respond to a text right away, don't take it personally. Real-life activities always come before a text thread. Don't spam your friends. Just an anybody there is enough to see if someone is available. Don't keep texting until someone is so tired of the beeping that they have to respond, because that could get annoying. You mean spam like this? Yes, just like that. I thought you said that moms only moms use emojis. Okay, what else? Are we done? Well, I think those are the starter boundaries. You want to talk about what's going on in your group text? Yeah, I do. I'm glad you told me about it. Can I see? How'd the soccer game go today? We lost by one goal. Thanks for the defense fail today, L. L. Ugh, do you want to maybe quit the team so we can get a good player on the field? Sorry, I did the best that I could. We would have won if you were awake. Maybe have coffee before the game next time. Lol. That's really mean. Do you feel safe enough to speak up for L? If you set up boundaries before, it would be easier to say, hey, that's out of bounds. I might feel okay to say something like that, but what if I didn't feel safe? Well, if you didn't, you could check with the person one-on-one and see if they're okay and how they want to deal with it. If it's really bad, you should tell an adult you trust. Show them the texts and let the adult decide what to do, just like you did. Okay, I can do that. Can we be done now? Almost. Honestly, the best thing to do is to avoid being included in big text threads with people that you don't know very well. Maybe stick with smaller threads between friends that you know and you can trust. Can I summarize for you? Do I have a choice? No. So, what can you do? Number one, set up boundaries on any group chat that you are a part of. The boundaries should include using appropriate language and not teasing or singling out any student, whether a part of the chat or not. Number two, Speak up for the person who is being teased or singled out. Number three, reset the boundaries of the chat if people are going out of bounds. Number four, if it happens often or if you don't feel safe speaking out, tell an adult you trust. Number five, take yourself out of the chat. You don't need to be part of something that is hurtful or negative. 
Sounds like a lot like an advanced version of stop, walk, and talk that we learned in school. Wow, nice connection. Well, now that you know the do's and don'ts of texting, maybe keep texting to a minimum, put the phone down, and go out and talk to them IRL. Mom, you didn't just say that, did you? What? You don't know what it means? I know, Mom. It means in real life. Okay, TTYL. Seriously, Mom.